Hello, this is John Mount from WinVector LLC, a San Francisco-based data science training and consulting company. I'd like to share a screencast on using a package called Wrapper, available on CRAN, to debug programs in R using RStudio. Here's our RStudio setup. In this pane, we have our desired task, where we want to source a function given in another file, and we want to set up some inputs and then run the function over all those inputs. When we run this code, f eventually throws an exception or calls stop, an error. Now, because of the simple nature of this setup, we can actually determine where the error is because the argument that caused, x, caused f to fail is still in the variable x, as the loop had been aborted. However, in the presence of try-catch blocks, nested functions, nested loops, or even remote parallel execution systems, it may be much harder to determine what arguments caused the function to throw an error. In that case, the suggested solution is to use dump frames. In that case, before executing our code, we set the global option that unhandled errors are to call the dump frames command with these arguments. Now when we execute our code, we still get the error, but as a side effect, a file called testdump.rda has been written. We can reload that into our workspace. It's now an object, and further, we can call the debugger on it. We might also like to inspect breakpoints and look at the code of f. Let's try to do that. Bringing up the debugger gives us an environment stack browser. There's only one environment available, so we select that one. We are now in the debug browser. And as you notice, the debug browser has failed to coordinate with RStudio's line location viewer. And we're not single stepping through the code in a convenient way. Obviously, this can be solved. However, I'd like to show another way to get at this directly. This time, we're going to instead of using debug frame, use the wrapper package. So we'll source in our function, bring in the wrapper package, choose a place to write our error when we catch it, and rewrap the function f so that it is actually in a so-called debug wrapper. We will then run the exact same block of code. You see, we still threw an exception, but now we've got this help that the file bug.rds was written, and it can be restored into the workspace and executed by the following call. We'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to set a breakpoint, like we tried before, and I'm going to call the function by name instead of by the function code. Either call will work, but currently only the function call by name triggers the breakpoint. Now, we are not only in the function context with the debugger, you can see the values array and i are active with the known values, but we've also triggered our studio's visual single-step debugger in a consistent manner. That's all for debugging with Wrapper today, and I suggest you check out the Wrapper package on CRAN for more documentation and vignettes. Thank you very much for your time.